Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new project on our hand and it's actually not a new project. We've already created this project. It's called, it was called the ESC slash motor tester. Now I've created it on this board. If you saw the build video, it was an hour long video and um, it was just a prototype to actually get it manufactured. Now this video is sponsored by PCB where they've actually sponsored the PCBs here. I've gone ahead and designed it and I said, hey, listen, we can take it to the next step. We'll, we'll manufacture it for you. So and you could share it along with your subscribers and viewers, which is very kind of them because I have more projects to come like this. So here's the final layout currently. Well, this is the prototype V1. V2 is what's gonna be linked down below because I made just a couple wrong mistakes. It's not really big mistakes. Um, I've made the, the size here for the terminals a little bit smaller um, in this one, but in the one linked down below, it's gonna be perfect, fine, because it takes four terminals here. It's supposed to actually take four terminals, so you can up connect up to four ESCs, uh, which are these. I'll leave a link to everything needed down below if you're curious. So let's take a look at this. So obviously it takes an Arduino Nano, and what I've decided to do this time, I've set up female headers instead of just the normal headers, so I can pop it off and put it back on if I wanted to repurpose it, because this is still in prototype, prototype stages. And if you take a look here, we have a 10K potentiometer, an I2, I, IC squared LCD, the voltage regulator here, which should be set to five volt before inserting anything in. And we have our terminals and our ESCs. Now you can put up to four ESCs here if you can see that. And uh, let's just take a closer look here. Actually, we can see it here. So you just put your pins right here and um, yeah, actually hit that. Uh, so you have ground would be right there. And then the last one would be signal, as you can tell here, that's how they come stock anyway. So ground and signal. So it's, it's really nice in that perspective. And if you wanted to go ahead and um, let's just say start the motor. So here's a motor. Let's just move this back a little. All right. So if we want to go ahead and start this motor, we can just uh, So we're testing everything. Motor looks like it's working. So also this board will not handle uh, a motor with a propeller on. So just be extra careful with that. I'll have one later on for some kind of a thrust stand setup in a way with load cells and all these kinds of things. That'll be an upcoming project later on. But this one, I just wanted a really quick, nice, easy uh, ESC tester. Now, for example, let's just say uh, you connected the ESC for the first time here. What you have to do is you have to get your knob, your potentiometer here and flip it all the way max to 100. So you can calibrate this and then you plug in your battery and just wait for this to boot up. Now it'll probably start giving a signal to the ESC and the ESC will know I'm in calibration mode and it'll start the calibration mode. And then we just drop it down to zero so we can calibrate it because it's working with PWM. It's not running D shot or anything, just basic PWM here. All right. And that's how you just, you know, start your motor. So this ESC is working just fine. Perfect. And if, obviously the power goes right here and uh, this will be fixed up. So you'll know each, which each one's which. So th I just had to make the, um, the, the uh, holes here for the terminals, just one bigger. So I have to basically push all of them in to add one extra uh, spacing between each two pins because uh, I did it on this board a little bit too small when the, let me show you here. As you can tell, these are the terminals and uh, it's just, it's, you know, it just needs to be right there. So I just, yeah, I, I made that mistake. I thought it was a two pin for some reason, but yeah, it's gonna be fixed in the link down below. So that'll be all fixed up. So you'll have four terminals here, four ESCs here, and this thing doesn't control the ESC separately. They're all connected to one pad there, which is, I think, D9, I think I have it set up. So on D9, you'll control all the ESCs at one time there. So as you can tell, it's really nice actually. It's just a quick setup. So later on also what I'm planning on doing with these projects here is also having the Arduino be incorporated. So it'll probably be a little bit of SMD soldering where we just take the chip and then we don't need a whole Arduino Nano and then we can just uh, set this all up. I think it'll be pretty fun, pretty interesting actually. And uh, I really wanna take this to another level. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just doing little projects here and there, which are I think pretty useful. Now this, I, I consider this useful because I have a lot of ESCs laying around there and I know some of them I probably burned, short circuited or whatever. And I just want to quickly connect it and then just, you know, just test it, see if it's working or not, or the motor's working or not, because I know this setup is working. So it's, it's, it's really nice. And then, you know, you have your little nice little gauge here. So it's, it's really nice piece of hardware. Obviously the profile would be a lot lower here. Uh, this one, 
I needed one of those longer leads. That's why it's sticking up like that, but it's still fine. I, I don't have a problem with this at all. It's, it's just perfect, as so you can tell right there. That's how it's looking. Um, obviously, if I didn't use those female headers, everything would have, it would have had a lot lower profile. But the reason why I used it is because I needed, I only have one OLED right now and I just ordered some more and I need it to be, um, you know, modular. So if I needed the Arduino for something, that for something, I could just pop that off. The board still stays as is and then it's just perfect. So I go use the Arduino for flashing the ESC and then flash the software again on it and just place it back in, boom, put my LCD back in and I'm set. It's really nice. Now make sure if you're going to get the same kit uh, that you have your VCC on that side because some of these OLEDs come with VCC on, on you know, they flip the VCC in ground. You can immediately burn your uh, LCD there. So be extra careful. I'll leave a link to one down below, but even then sometimes uh, they're just mix and match. So I'll probably set up another pad under it, which will have, we'll say ground and then VCC. That'll be in the link down below. It'll be the second version of this guy, but uh, overall it's very useful. And obviously I know I'm going to get a lot of crap about the right angles here, but in the, in the newer versions, that's all fixed up. There's no more right angles going through the board. It's all at least a for at most a 45 degree angle. So yeah, everything is set up there as is. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And a huge shout out to PCBWay. Check the link down below. And don't forget to like the project on their page because that really also supports the channel. It can get us more projects done like this. And I do have a lot of things planned, uh, such as the diversity FPV drone finder, which can be also just used a diversity receiver based on the RX 5808 Pro open source project, which is like everything almost like the furious fpv kind of style and everything so it's gonna be pretty cool and pretty interesting and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next time peace out guys